So, new episode in the vlog. Today in English, something we teased already beforehand a few months ago. Finally, due to uh, Corona, it took a while, but uh, finally we got uh, the chance to take a view on, uh, on this very nice tool set GMC. And we will hear everything about it soon from Coné. Yes, I will uh, try to explain something about the truck. And that's, uh, well, we uh, make a nice uh, video with it, we hope. <laughs> Yes, it's, uh, we have some Jeep in the background here, in our view, but it's all about GMC today. So uh, let's take a look and uh, see some details of it. So Kone, you got, a, you got a great vehicle here, what can you tell about it? Uh, well, this truck is a GMC uh, truck, a two and a half tons version. Um, this truck is uh, used by the engineers in World War II. Um, as a tool set truck, a repair truck. Um, we found it unrestored as it uh, left the Belgian army in the early 80s. Um, we found it a couple of years ago in a barn, um, also owned by a collector. Um, and uh, we restored it to the condition like it's uh, right now. During the restoration we uh, found some uh, special unique things, although that, that's what we found of it. We found uh, the hood markings, like you see here, we found them in the, in the white as field and blue as uh, it left the factory. Oh wow, you found them both? Yeah, we found them both, as well as the yellow uh, gas paint we found. Oh, that's great. Yeah, um, in the rear bed of the truck there is a data plate which also has the same registration number, so we're quite sure it's uh, a matching numbers truck wow um well that's something um the truck is being delivered in march 1944 to the army the rear bed was built in uh, december 1943 so a little bit earlier um something else we found was this star on both sides so also in the same location. Is it a common location for the star there? Did you see that on, on pictures as well? Yep, yeah. Oh, wow. What we also found that was uh, some uh, unit history. Well, we'll see all the tools in a minute. We, uh, it's completely filled. It's really an amazing piece. The markings right here. See if it can fit. Yep. Is what we found during sending off uh, this uh, this rear uh, side. So. Uh, and what does it say exactly? It's a uh, 1253 combat engineer unit, which uh, saw service in uh, in Germany for uh, Operation Flunder. Okay. Um, quite late in the war. Yeah, quite late. Um, it was around March, April, 1945 where they had to build five bridges over the River Rhine and this unit was there to, uh, to build uh, the access roads to the bridges and from the bridges afterwards. So I think this truck maintained the bulldozers, the scrapers, uh, the graders, track lines, all that kind of machines, uh, probably as well GMC tippers. So I think that was its main task. Um, yeah, that was during the war. Um, Afterwards, after the war, um, there is a data plate in the truck from Sharp General Depot. That means that the truck um, came uh, back to the United States just after the war where it uh, had service. I think no major overhaul or something because it's just in the same, because uh, it's still matching. Let us have a look around in the cabin. Well, this is the cab. Here there's a, a, a Sharp General Depot data plate from the shop. Here it has the, the serial number of the truck, which matches of course with the chassis and the main uh, date of delivery data plate that's here below. Let's see if I can get 
Yep. Yeah, it's still the original one. It's being delivered in uh, March 1944. And then there's another uh, data plate original in the rear bed, which uh, also matches. Which makes it makes it quite unique, of course. And was it uh, a big job to get this all back to in this state? Uh, a couple of weeks, because it was uh, an exceptional good condition. There was no rot, no no rust, because I uh, I think it had spent of its most of its life inside a, a warehouse or in a shop in Belgium. So, mm. and it was maintained by mechanics. So. So then it came back yes. from the US, and uh, how did it end up in the in the Belgium army army then? Uh, probably it came back in the early 50s with a mutual defense aid program. So there it started a new life again in the Belgian army until okay. the late 70s, and then it was sold in the early 80s to okay. uh, private collectors which I have uh, a photo how it was uh, being uh, stored in a warehouse and it was just in the same condition as we found it uh, a couple of years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. And how did you find it? Um, well, I know the collector, so we had uh, for uh, several years uh, contact, so I knew we had it and uh, well, oh, cool. he knew he liked it. So that way it came our way. Well, a matching vehicle and a matching history. So quite an amazing story. Yeah. Let's dive into the details of the tool set itself. So what we see here is a complete tool set with all the tools. So we'll open some drawers, you'll see some stuff. But uh, I'm no specialist on tools, but Kone can tell us a lot about it, aren't you? Oh yes, I can tell us something about it. It's a uh, it's quite complete uh, truck. There's uh, many uh, tools from World War II, but also tools still from the Belgian army. We believe that the Belgian army also belongs to its history. So um, there um, uh, should be something present from that part of its history. Um, we feel that it's correct to have it on board. Um, so we have some boxes which still are marked by the Belgium army. Some are American tools, some are later tools um, that are present. Um, I think we bought it in 80% uh, complete condition. We found some parts, we traded some parts, of, or tools exactly to be, ex to pre to be precise. Um, yeah, and that brought it in the condition uh, we have it uh, right now. So how long did it take before you you are on at a point where you think, well, now we got most of the tools that were originally there, or at least oh. complete tool set? Well, I think now. Yeah? Yeah, I did a lot of hand tools, like screwdrivers, wrenches were missing. Um, and uh, that's what we found in the last couple of years. And yeah, that makes us uh, happy. There's always more to find, but well, good is good is yeah, good enough. True, true, yeah. yeah. So let's uh, let's jump inside then. Okay. Well, this is uh, the inside of the truck. Um, I'm gonna explain a little uh, about it. This is uh, the generator set. It's a Onan. It uh, delivers the the power to. Uh, make the lights burn and the equipment, uh, the electric equipment working. Yeah, because these tool sets were used in the field, so I guess there was not much available other than... No, it is... It had to be complete self-sustaining, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And yeah, this one had elect electricity, and other would have had air, so they held each other as well in the field. Oh, uh, the there were different versions? Of there them. were different versions, yeah, and okay. this one was a general purpose uh, model, so there are a couple others. Um, well, this generator set, here we have the vise, um, here we have the, the hydraulic pre press, 10 tons, wow. original one, Porter power, unrestored, just like it is, uh, you can see in oh, the manual. Wow. True vintage, yeah, great. Yeah, here we have the, 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 the grinder, um, built for the Corps of Engineers with this data plate says. And um, right here it has the, the data plate of the truck. Oh yeah, right, the, the one you mentioned before. Yeah, and here is the, the US registration number which matches the, the hood. 
Ah, great detail. Bro. Yeah. That's amazing. Going back to this grinder, um, this one is uh, from uh, the GMC Leroy compressor and is used to drill in uh, concrete to uh, to pull dynamite inside uh, a rock or something and here it's being drilled, it's the original tool for it. Oh, wow. um, there is the, the stove, electrical stove being uh, ignited with fuel. Here we have the, 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 the drill. Uh, drill press, yeah. The drill press. Um, this one is original South Bend lead. It's the Model A. Oh, with a nice table on it. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Uh, I'm quite sure it's the original lead, which the truck it was supplied with in the war, because it had a serial serial number which dates back to March 1944, the same day the truck was delivered to the military. Oh, nice take plate here. Yeah. The war production board. Yeah. Interesting detail. Yeah. yeah that's the lead. It has uh, all unique features to, uh, to make screw thread, conus taper, it's uh, actually uh, the deluxe uh, LED. Yeah. Here you have some nice bottles. Yeah, right. It's uh, acetylene and oxygen bottles. Um, we didn't find a truck with these bottles. We uh, were very lucky to find them. Um, these bottles are wartime dated. This one is October 44. The other one is uh, June 44, see somewhere right there. Zoom into it. Hard to see, but uh, June 44 is of course a very interesting date. Huh? Yeah, and the acetylene bottle is from uh, February 44. Uh, right here on the floor, you see the. It's an original piece as well. Uh, in the field, you uh, turn this one into the soil, and this makes an earth connection with a wire to the chassis of the truck, just yeah for a protection against uh, the onboard e electricity. Yeah, and here is uh, some electrical cable. We also have the, I think it's a, the correct word, an inter-vehicle cable. So with this cable you connect this generator uh, with another truck to supply the other tool set from uh, electricity. Because not all trucks were uh, equipped with this uh, generator set and uh, to get this truck used you need a lot of hand tools and small pieces yeah and I see a lot of drawers there yeah yeah do you want to see what's in it well ah, definitely it's ah cool I'm curious are they all filled um yeah they're all filled there's wow. just one or two with modern hand tools just for uh yeah some field repair which is not in uh in display, some emergency repair, but this is for the for the lead. As you see, there's a lot of tools. This one is, uh, yeah, it's called copper, being supplied by the military. Like here, you can see the numbers. It's just a new old stock uh, copper. Copper bar to make some. Uh, some yep. Yeah. And yeah, it's all there. Huh? Well, like here we have tools for the hydraulic press and refill oil. <laughs> yeah, refill. <laughs> the true 44 plastic can. Huh? Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, here another one. Oh, wow. So most is there. And, uh, I see some special stuff. Yeah, there are some Excel uh, 
uh, stands. They're uh, the originals, like you can uh, find in the manual. Exact the same. Here we have an uh, original uh, torque wrench. Yeah, so the, some drills, a box full of engine tools. Oh, some cheap stuff. That's yep. what I recognize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, correct. Or even two. Yep. Yeah, and here are some, uh, not sure all are World or two, but some elect electrical drills. Plus, yeah, some tools, of course, were used and they were replaced. Yeah. Um, what else can I show? Um, See a lot of NOS stock there. Yeah. The <laughs> yeah, we have some spare parts boxes from South Bend. Um, this is uh, original uh, grinding compound from Clover. So and, and, uh, and with the tool set, what do you do today? Do you go to events, do you show it off, or is it just a piece that you keep uh, preserved in your own... Uh um, well, both. Uh, we go to uh, we preserve it and we go to events. And uh, yeah, just to share this uh, piece of history to the public. I can imagine it's a show stealer when you uh, when you show up at an event. Oh yes, uh, lots of uh, restorers, mechanics uh, yeah. likes this uh, truck because it has all the yeah vintage tools on board. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And does it all work actually, or is it just a showpiece? It's a showpiece that works. And that works. Wow. Oh yes. Amazing. Yep. You see here the wheels. Yep. So, and you're uh, asked a lot to do some fi quick fixes at events, I guess? Oh yes, of course, of course. Incredible. Yep. Yeah, of course, hydraulic press, how simple it is. Yeah. They never change the design. No. Yeah. Yes, yeah, you see the lights work. We also have extra lights. I think these are uh, in these boxes. We have some extra lights. Yes, and in this box, it's not mounted on a truck. It's for the A frame. Oh, you got the A frame on the front bumper. Yep, but it's not mounted right you now. Know, but uh, here are all the tools. What we will do, because uh, Kone was keen on the show lately, I will put in some um, some pictures here in the screen to uh, to see how that looks when it's completely installed in yep. the field with the A-frame, because the A-frame uh, we didn't put up right now for this uh, video. Yeah, and here's the new old stock uh, snow chains, which were delivered with this truck. All there! Yep. And here's a toolbox. It's a, it's a US toolbox. It came uh, from the Belgium uh, Army stock. As you can see here, this is how many tools uh, left the Belgian Army it's with these uh, tags. Yeah, these tags, when they're still on, that makes it even yeah. special, you know, it's all part of that history. Yep, so this is an ignition repair kit, Allen wrench set. Um, yeah, this is just how it came from the Belgian army. So measuring tools, uh, calipers inside uh, mm -hmm. tools, the um, screwdrivers. Hand tools, wrenches, yeah. Now this is a gasoline burner. Um, I guess to heat up parts to make it loose or something. Or, uh, oh yeah. yeah. Like a modern propane torch. Exactly. Yeah, these boxes are filled with, uh, with hand tools. Like you see here. Yeah, there's, yeah not, there's not a single box that's empty, right? Yeah, this one is filled as well, but uh, also with what modern tools.
tools just to uh, use in a display. So these uh, tools uh, are allowed to break, you understand, and to be used. The other ones you want just want to keep as display. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to waste the original tool. Yeah. Oh, here's a uh, originally uh, Critchley reamer set. Wow, like in the manual specified, exactly yeah. the correct set. It's amazing. Here's a tap and die set. Uh, yeah, here's a tester ignition circuit uh, flare tool. Operating instructions included. Yep. Bearing tool. This is a battery tester. As you can see here. Yep. This box opens up. It's uh, low voltage. More for the electronics then. Yep, for vehicle. Just to, uh, yeah, like you can see there, testing of the uh, generator uh, charging uh, circuit. And some more heavy stuff over here. Yep, this is uh, like in the metal, uh, can be found uh, the correct uh, valve uh, tool. Um, original. Uh, one was uh, being found in the manual, US made. Just came with a truck, grinder. Um, that box has interesting tools as well. I'm going to show it quickly. It has a uh, new old stock um, special tools, which are for um, vehicles. It has the original tags, which I uh, try to find uh, the numbers to see what kind of vehicle it was for. And this is a remover for the pin torque rod, upper and lower, for the 6 tons, 6x6 truck, white Corbett and Brockway. As found in the technical manual uh, 9-813. And uh, yeah, so this one, uh, just taking a couple examples, that's also the number, like used in war. And this one is for removal and installation of oil filter case bolt for the uh, 6 tons wide and Corbett, but also Audi car model U7144T. So yeah, new old stock special tools. So a unique piece of history that we see here, complete with a story. And there's one element that we want to show you, and that has a story as well, is that sign. Isn't that Kone? Yep. It's uh, a copy of the original. Yeah. What did you do today? Unbelievable. <laughs> that is... That's a masterpiece on itself. Yep. Well, a true piece of history, as I mentioned. It's uh, it's great. Uh, thanks for showing us around. Oh and yeah. Sharing, sharing this with us in the video. It's the the, the vlog is normally about Jeep, but in this case, uh, I uh, really was eager to show you this incredible uh, collection and this incredible vehicle. Kone got more vehicles, so maybe we'll come back. He has some nice projects uh, being worked on. But for now, thanks a lot, uh, Kone. Oh, you're welcome. Hope the viewers enjoy this. Absolutely. Okay, good thanks. luck. Bye-bye. If you like the video, thumbs up and uh, subscribe when you want to see more. Click the bell if you want to get an alarm when we put up something again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.